For the 22 years that I've been a born again Christian, I have discovered that there is a great connection between my personal life and my commitment to the work of God. When, whenever I bring my resources, my time, my commitment to the work of God, great things do happen in my life. And as I start here, I am a testimony that God does things when we are in close contact with Him, when we relate with Him. In 2 Chronicles 2020, Jehoshaphat is telling the people, Listen, Judah and Jerusalem, have faith in God and you will be upheld. Have faith in His prophets and you will be successful. God dwells in the midst of His people and speaks through His prophets. And this house, Karura Community Chapel, has our pastors. Uh, led by the senior pastor and God has put in them a vision to elect the Karura Worship and Community Center and all we need to do all that God is calling us to do is to have faith in his prophets and we'll be successful think about success in all perspectives in your perspective in my perspective we only need to do one simple thing have faith in what the prophets are telling us to do. David, on the other hand, after he has brought back the Ark of the Covenant and he has done the dance, the famous dance that you know, he tells the prophet Nathan in 2 Samuel chapter 7 that, look, here I am dwelling in a house of cedar while the Ark of the Covenant dwells in a tent. That tells us that there comes a time for a change. The Ark of the Covenant had dwelt in a tent for a long period of time, but David realized the season and the timing of God. And here we are uh, in this season of moving Karura Worship and Community Center from a tent into a permanent house, partnering with God. Let me say this that the word of God is true. And the word tells us in Luke chapter 6 and, and verse 38 that give and it shall be given to you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. This season, as we establish uh, uh, Karura Worship and Community Center, it's a season of giving, giving your prayers, giving your time, and more so committing your resources to God. How good it is when we commit our wallets, our finances into this kind of work. For these 22 years that I've been a born again Christian, I have one testimony, something I've experienced that you don't get poorer by giving to the work of God.